Oh, the code interpreter is finally here for ChatGPT Pro. And if you have the Pro Edition, you already have access to it, and I'm gonna show you how you can get it. By the way, my name's Dylan. Follow me for ChatGPT tips, tricks, and AI tools to automate your business. Just go to these three little dots. Once you click on the three little dots, go to settings, click on beta features, and turn on the code interpreter. Now all you need to do is go to GPT-4 and click this button right here. Now there's a ton of things you can do with this, and I'm just gonna show you a couple. First thing first, let's analyze some data sets. If you wanna play with the data set, you can go to kegel.com and download a data set like this one here. Then all you need to do is hit the plus button and then upload that file. That file will appear right here and you can just type anything you want and we're gonna type in, explain to me this document. And just hit enter. As you can see, it's broken down. What are the elements inside of this CSV file? Which is the salaries of individuals working in the data science roles. Now I do have a list of about 100 different prompts of how to use this inside of the link in my bio. So click on that, click on the newsletter, and we'll send that right over to you. Another prompt we can use is what are the main key points to take away with this data set? Hit enter. As you can see, it's starting to analyze it and give you some of the main key takeaway points. We can then prompt it to create five different visuals to represent the data provided. And you can see it breaking down the visuals of the different data, including the salaries, the locations, the type of positions, and so much more that data is provided. We can also have it alter images like this one, just by downloading it, saving this image. You can see it now broken into three different steps. It first made the image into black and white, and then it went ahead and cropped it into mobile. It asked me if I want to download it, and it's going to provide a link to download. Finally, I'm going to show you how to use it to analyze Python code. I upload the code, and I asked it if you could explain to me what's happening in the code. And it's breaking it down. It's saying exactly what it is. It's a simple calculated Python application. Now I can ask it to review the code and suggest some improvement. You can see it's given us a couple of options. Oh wait, one more thing. You can actually have it analyze your own documents and here's how. This is actually a document of one of our clients who has a uh, many pages breaking down the whole social emotional learning program. You can just download this as a plain text file and then we can ask it to explain it to us in simple terms. You can see it's already breaking it down and it says the social emotional learning course and here's the different categories and it's totally right. It's so cool!